Section 9.5, Apply Compositions of Transformations. First things first, if you have not done so already, make a note card with the coordinate notation and matrices for the main transformations that we've already talked about. That means you need to go back and make sure that you know the coordinates for translations. So you need to make sure you have the coordinates down for that. And actually that's fairly straightforward, but more importantly, you need to make sure that for reflections, you have both the coordinates and the matrices. Also for translations, don't forget to know um, how to use a vector. And then for rotations, make sure you have those red boxes both for the coordinates and for the matrices. Those are already in your notes, so if you were to go back, here we go, you'll have those boxes that have the common coordinate notations for reflections and the matrices and then also similarly for rotations you should have your coordinate notation and your matrices All right. so once you have that note card what you're going to see in this section is we're now going to use a series of transformations one after another These, this is called a composition of transformations and the technical definition is where one or more, or I'm sorry, two or more, where two or more transformations are combined to form a single transformation. So what we might do is, let's add a little bit more space here. If we have our Cartesian plane, what we could do is we could take our triangle and perhaps we want to first translate it so that we get A prime, B prime, C prime. We could then take this translation and reflect it. So we get A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime. If we wanted to, we could even take this further. Let's say we want to rotate it. And this would give us C triple prime, A triple prime, and B triple prime. For each successive transformation, we add just another prime or another little apostrophe after, after the letter. We do have a special kind of composition, it's called a glide reflection. A glide reflection is a composition of two transformations, and those are first a translation, and second a reflection. So kind of like the first transformations I showed you above, going from A, B, C to A prime, B prime, C prime is a translation, and then taking that figure and reflecting onto A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. So going from the blue triangle to the red is what we call a glide reflection. Let's look at an example. You're given the vertices of triangle ABC are A at 3, 2, B at 6, 3, and C at 7, 1. I want you to find the image of ABC after the following glide reflection. A translation of XY to X minus 12 Y, and then a reflection in the X axis. Take a moment, try to do this one on your own first, and then go to the video when you're ready to check your solution.